a pool or an amenity here. In theory, that's good, but I don't think yeah. you can torch regulate yeah. that. They could go to the home and end up over here. Or well, they can say they're going to the home <laughs> and, and go to and the, the pool. The point is, it's maybe let's say family A, B, and C, their kids bring them in. The rest of the troops get on the uh, chats, parts, or whatever else they use for social media, and out goes the posting. Uh, we're all going to get together for a party at the pool. Bam, you got them all. So you can't hang it all on a particular CDS family. In so it's going a, along with what the CDC says, as far as you're not allowed to have more than 10 people, maybe Stony Brook should adopt a policy that says you are allowed to, uh, you're allowed to invite up to 10 guests to your home. No. If they come to the pool, that's fine. No, you can't. That's against the First no. Amendment. We can't do that. It, I mean, it sounds really well, scary, but I think it'll be hard for us to keep track of. We even have to literally have a list and saying, okay, this one, this house has got four people. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. we can't stop it. We my cannot live an entry. My no. suggestion would be for the residents to go on dwelling live. When I have it on mine, and I know each time my daughter comes through, my husband comes through, put it up. Uh, Activate it so it gives you a text each time you go. This way you will see a guest pass was issued to so and so. Maybe some parents are not aware that their kids are being put, you know, are putting friends on their list. So go on that dwelling live and activate. You know, and especially I mean, if, if your grandparents and some, you know, a grandchild helps you set up that account, they could be inviting friends under, you know. Okay. So I mean, activate the dwelling listen, live. Listen, Elizabeth is right too because I don't know, I can tell you how many times whether it's kids with golf carts, whether it's kids letting people in, that we find out, Tammy will call them, they come to the office, and the parents were oblivious mm -hmm. to those. And, and once they knew, they were strict, then they, they took that All you have to do is just click text, or you can have an email sent, and they'll send each time somebody comes through, you get notified. Well, they have to go through front gate in order right. well, to get in anyways. But originally, well, it won't stop the kids that are being stuck in, but it'll stop some of them. Well, and they were also using golf carts to go and pick up their friends at CBS. Well, that, we I can see that. that and, call the and they could be coming in on bicycles, too. We don't know that. Right. For all those kids coming here, all that. Uh -huh. okay. but let's remember to raise our hands so we can keep control. Sharon, you had yourself. Uh, yes, this gentleman was talking about the front gate. I was actually coming back, and I like to come through the back gate. And I saw a car parked at the entrance of the school, and I didn't really pay too much attention. And there was a car that was coming, going out of the community as I was coming in. And I saw him do a U-turn. So I looked in my rear view mirror, that car that was sitting at the uh, school, it followed him in. Mm -hmm. because so they're tailgating in also. Yeah, exactly. So to stop it at the front gate doesn't mean you're really going to stop it at the front gate. Because mm -hmm. These kids are clever. Yep. Well, we also have yep. people going to the back gate with the car opening it and having people come in. We're definitely having issues with kids from peeing in the yard, jumping off docks, swimming in our lakes, to underage drinking, to breaking glass out here, to destroying property. Like, it sounds like we're making the right decision all in all with Grover trying on a temporary basis. Mm -hmm. Because we can't control everything that's currently happening here. Kids are going wild and crazy. They need to go back to school. That's a coming. <laughs> um, but I think it would be a good idea just for the trial run of it. Hopefully, some of these problems will calm down. Lloyd, well, we're not in real bad shape in the budget. I just look, we're under on a uh, security budget right now, so it wouldn't be a big impact for that 15000 With that said, though, again, like Elizabeth said, we need to increase the presence. Yeah. Did you get a second on? Yeah, his yes. Valentine's. Valentine. Okay, so we're still on. Well, we can get together and write up a job description. Well, or, or, well. Yeah, I was going to suggest that the passes that we get the safety committee together uh, by next Monday put something together. How long will it take uh, Len to get us a, a rover? <laughs> Who <The> knows? <laughs> we pay more to sit at home right now oh. on unemployment. Okay, so, so we won't I have a problem with that, that, but. I, I would say uh, let's give the safety committee a chance to come up with something that, we, that, that they could sit down with us and uh, Keith and make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, Keith, Keith is the captain of the post or the guard house and we always work with him because since men come in and check with him, we aren't walking around telling them what to do, not even the safety committee to discuss it with 
and get it approved with Keith and Tammy, and then we go forward with that. So I think taking some input from uh, Jim's committee and having it by Monday and maybe have the guys start uh, thereafter. That's just my suggestion. Can you give us a little later than yeah. Monday? Because I won't be able to meet until Monday at the earliest. Yeah, well, <laughs> you've got a committee you can put to work. <laughs> yeah, Ralph and Mike are sitting back there and they've got good heads on their shoulders. Well, some reason we can't hear anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have another question? I, I do. I actually have two, so let me say about them and you can uh, deal with them. One would be if there, if it's one resident, uh, or whoever that lets people in the pool be able to track who was the last person to yes. the pool file. You know, and yeah. go back and find it that way. And um, because this is becoming a larger problem, could we consider uh, shutting off access at the back gate after a certain time at night until a certain time in the morning and, and funnel everybody into the front? I don't think you want to do that just for a few that night. No, because we, we the gym. It's something to maybe think about, but something I think that would be a big inconvenience it, for If it becomes residents. a problem, I think it's something to think about, but with the uh, gyms open 24 hours a day. Uh, the thing is, you shut the fob off, uh, they'll be over the fence or have to get somebody with, they'll figure a way in one way or another. <laughs> They've spread the, the uh, wickets and the fence that come through that way. Uh, it, you can't explain I was a wild kid, and I know what they're doing. But you drive my kids crazy because I'm always a step ahead of what they were doing. But uh, it, it's just human nature for the kids want to kick their heels a little bit and do it. Uh, we had an incident here the other day that uh, was thundering and lightning, and Tammy went out and, and told some uh, kids, I would say about 14, 15, in the pool, uh, hey, it's thundering and lightning. You get out of the pool. Well, I don't say lightning. <laughs> well, they left. Tammy comes in and looks at the TV camera, and they're climbing over the fence that's closed to the playground and playing on the swings. Uh, then some loudmouth went out there and yelled at them and they left. Bill. But that didn't stop there. Then I turned the camera on Port Rush. They went down to Port Rush and got an accident. No, I mean, there's, there's no common and sense. And it's still thundering in white. Yeah. You can't fix stupid. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ron White. But uh, we're, we're trying to look at this as, as a whole. I think we Are you fixing your mask or your hand? Well, I just had a question. And I know kids will be kids and a mother of three boys. Yes, we've gone to court. It's not fun as a parent. But I'm wondering, I'm, I understand you know who some of the people were that did that wasn't. Do we prosecute? Are we, we just slap mom in the hand and say, don't do it again? We're oh, taking we'll care of that. We'll get to that. Give us, give us time. we got a nice agenda tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this one, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of important stuff to come up. But yeah, some of it is we don't like to talk about the safety issues and trying to control what goes on. We also want to get things going in here. But if we have no more discussion, we do have a motion on the floor. Are you already seconded? Yes, we have to vote on the floor. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> All right, we have a motion to uh, provide a third guard for a third shift uh, starting in August for three months. All in, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, unanimous. Carry it. Thank you. We will awesome. We will get working on that and get it in place. I'm sure that will be on social media within the next two hours. Good. That way we won't have to publicize. It'll be done for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim, you have anything else? I got two more. Oh, Ho you're still going. Hopefully Good. they won't be as long. Okay. Uh, the front gate, recently over the last two weeks, I witnessed two occasions. One was a motorcycle coming in through the residence entry and going right between the two arms. There's, a, there's a, like a concrete post between the two arms, but there's also enough space that a motorcycle can go right through it. And two or three days ago, I saw a bicycle do the same thing. So I would like to see, or we would like to see, something added to that space. Or perhaps maybe the arm, and I'll talk to you briefly, Lloyd, I don't know if you did any kind of chance to look into it, whether, we, whether there is a longer arm. There is a longer arm, but it's going to put much more stress on the, on the, motor. the motor. Okay. Uh, when we get into the five-year budget, uh, there's a proposal for gate and stuff. 
maybe at that time we could rearrange, put two posts on or something. That's what I would thought I would suggest. We could look at that yeah. with the new equipment. Yeah, and there's, there's cheaper things to do, but it wouldn't look as good as putting a post in or yeah, put a fence there or something. But yeah. well, why don't we wait until we get a new business? We'll, okay. we'll, we'll tackle that way and bring it back up. Okay. And lastly, uh, speed humps. We would like to experiment and try putting speed humps at the four-way stop sign to try to keep, try to at least slow people down from running stops. I watched a vendor this morning. I was sitting at the stop sign at the four-way stop, and he just blew right they, past and just kept on going. I mean, thank God a kid did not come out of the sidewalks. Yeah, yeah. The guy just blew right through the stop sign. The Never majority, the, the majority of the times I come out of. Pembroke, I see one, at least one car running one of the stop signs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I some of them don't even slow down, they just yeah. go no, right through. I had, I was leaving here the other day, I was playing up to uh, over by the condos, and a gray van didn't even slow down. And if I hadn't stopped, I'd be all over the road with it. And, you know, you want to get out and yell at them. Now today, I told Tam about this, I came in, somebody was tailgating me, tried to pass me in the merge, and passed me up after I got by Sheridan Run, doing 40 miles an hour down to the driveway on what window. What is so hot? Picking up? Well, I think if you're about to get your pants wet, the only reason you could be hurrying along, this residential area, you know, nobody's going to any place. The highways are full nowadays. People, no matter where you're at, Traveling around, stop signs aren't even a suggestion anymore. But we will try something, that's something we can discuss when we get into the five year plan as well. Well, were you just talking about like the temporary ones just to see? Right, right. Well, we could find what is used on, we could get to. The one thing we have to do is going to go with speed oh, humps. Uh, is go with the ones like we got up in front right. because the fire department prefers those. For two reasons. Number one, if you're in the back of an ambulance, you don't want to be jostled anymore than they already are doing to you. That's already like riding in a buckboard. Number two, when you see a fire apparatus come in, the ones here carry a thousand pound, a thousand gallons of water on them, and it's eight and a half pounds per gallon. So they're carrying about ten thousand, yeah, you know, a lot of weight back there. And if they break a spring, they're going to be sitting right there wherever they're going. It's going to wait for another one to come in. So we will try and work with. Anytime we do speed humps, we're going to keep that in mind and be good neighbors. If I can just say something real quick I mean, about the speed, is there any way we can try to do something like we were talking about temporarily at least, because I know we talked about doing it uh, you know, across the whole development, but that's going to cost me. If we had just try it on an experimental basis just in the four-way stop sign, another issue that Keith gave us was the front gate when yeah. people are leaving. Once they hit that speed pump and the gates go up, they see that red light, that like green light, and people are like flying. Uh, they're doing 50 by the time yeah. they get to the gate. By the time they hit the end, so yeah. the suggestion we had was to uh, do the four-way stop, the main four-way stop, and then put one additional one right where the little cul-de-sac ends, or the little yeah, right after the bricks, right where right. yeah, where, right where uh, right past the guard yeah, by the flagpole. Yeah. Right. Uh, Tammy, can you, we have a vendor for that. Let's see if we might have a used one we could borrow to try without having to buy a new one. Well, you need more than one, though. You need, we're going to need five. You're going to need five. One for each stop sign. Well, let's see what we can come up with. If nothing else, we'll, we'll pick more important spots and start to see what happens. Because uh, if it costs money to do it, if he's got a used one, we'll, we'll work from there. Okay. Okay. The only comment I want to make on that is, uh, I work up there at the, as a starter up there, and I want to tell you, them bumps, sometimes they don't help. I've seen people come flying up there, coming out of here, and they have to jam on their brakes. They're going so fast, they have to jam on their brakes to wait for the, the, the gate to go up, and they've already went over the hump, you know. And it, well, like today, like I the guy that I watched blow through, maybe he would have thought about stopping or noticed the stop sign. <laughs> maybe. Might slow some of them down. Yeah, but it might like slow Like you, it's not going to slow them all if down. It's not going to throw them flying up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> if they break an axle, that'll... <laughs> well, the only thing I'm going to say is, I've always said this when I sat up there, is that 
there's going to there's going to come a time when some kid or somebody's going to get run over by somebody, and I'm going to tell you what the judges say all the time: you knew or should have known it was an issue, and we didn't do anything. Yeah. Right. So my recommendation would be you need to do something. Even if it's just temporarily at that four-way stop, let's test it, let's try it, and then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and then and we'll see what happens. And if it turns out that it's working a little bit, then we can decide whether we want to go the rest of the way. And I agree with Lloyd. I mean, it's not going to stop everybody. The, the hardcore person, you know, is going to go through that. They don't care what happens to the vehicle. Not from a lease cars or it's a company car, or they could care less. But a lot of people that are paying good money for their vehicles, they're going to stop and say, hey, I'm not going to go back, you know. It's going to make them more sure that there's a stop sign there, yeah. basically. Right. Okay. I support it. Throwing okay. it out there. Okay. We'll give it a whirl. Okay. Jim? I'm done. Dr. Lawson. Jim. Way to go. <laughs> Lloyd? The only thing I got is, anybody got anything for the five-year plan? <laughs> we'll come back for that uh, under the business. Well, that's the regular budget I'm talking about. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come somewhere in here. I got a ton of new business items for 2021. Okay. All right. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, young lady. We don't have much of anything going on. This is lovely virus moment, right? Or something. Um, yes, there's knitting and book club and well, the, other than the standard knitting standard club. Bingo. Bingo. They're going to try bingo again. Yeah. They got canceled the last time. Right. You want me to balance that? Oh, we're going to that. Oh, all right. Oh, maybe Tammy. What? We're having a glove mobile that Tammy's going to tell us about. There, we had, had a request. We had a request from Lee Health that did it last time. They want to have it again in August. Uh, they gave me two dates, uh, same time frame. Um, we can either look at doing it or, I know there's blood banks across the Publix or the uh, thing, it depends on what you guys want to do. I hope it runs better than the last one. I'm telling you, that's why I'm reluctant to do it. So, I'd rather have people do it. I signed me, me and my wife signed up to be here at 1 o'clock. We got here at 1 o'clock and we were told, well, you're going to be at least 20 minute wait. We're running behind. Okay, well, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go back home. We'll be here in 20 minutes. We come back. Oh, well, it's going to be 2 o'clock before we, we can get you in. Well, okay, we'll wait. 2 o'clock comes. We're closing. We're only here till two o'clock. They had to be someplace else. And I don't want people to get discouraged giving blood. That's discouraging. You're here, you're ready, and they tell you to come back three times, and then, oh, by the way, we closed at two, but you let me sit here another 20 minutes. And I'm not that hepped up on it. Another thing is they bring the huge bus bus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with school starting, it's going to be the same thing, basically. We had a request for a farmer's market here. And um, to me, it almost seems the same. School's going to be starting. This parking lot is being utilized from 7-something to Wisconsin. There's three sets of um, time lots where the kids go between buses being dropped up, parents after picking up. I think it's a lot of moving parts to have, I don't know, to have either the blood drive and the farmer's market being in school. I don't know. It's just but where did you say they can go for a farmer's market? Well, for the farmer's market, there's one across at Mirror Outlets, across the street, literally. So. I think we just tell the, uh, from past experience, we'll take a pass. That way they'll know we were unhappy. Yeah. Okay. And the only other thing I just wanted to remind the residents is that um, us board members, committee members, committee chairs, we are volunteers. I do not deserve, no one from a committee, no one from this board deserves to be called and screamed at. Um, I'm tired of it, and I will not stand for it. I will, I, I'm just not the 12th anymore. So I'm speaking on behalf of Tammy, all the board members, committee members, please remember we are not paid. There is no benefit for me doing what I'm doing along with everyone else, except to benefit this community and things that we're passionate about, please remind yourself of that before you go flying off the handle. I'm stressed out, I have a lot on my plate, you have a lot on your plate. We're all here for a good purpose. We're not here to take people's money. We're not here to hurt people. We're not here to pin each other against each other. We're not, we're just here because we're passionate about our community. So just remember that and please 
please have respect for every single person that volunteers on this board and on all of our committees, our staff, because it's unacceptable. Please have respect for us. Well, I'm paid so you can yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. I, I, I can come back to butt buzzer. You know, people call up yelling and screaming. It's common sense. I've worked in the public sector. I know what it's like. But the point being, get it off your chest, and then it's such a simple answer to help these people after they rant and rave and get their blood pressure up. Uh, usually, we can handle it fairly quickly. But you know, if you got a problem, don't let it fester. Be calm. Bring it up, and we'll do it. If you don't bring it up to us, and it happens again, you really get upset about it. Then it's your fault. If you give it to us early, we'll get her done. I don't think any of us hides any way to get a hold of us. Yeah, we're not here for hidden agendas or anything like that. So don't be mean and nasty in text messages, phone calls, emails, in person. Just remember we're human beings and don't get paid volunteering our time. So please be respectful. Thank you. Anything else? Lady, lady right here. Bill. <laughs> oh, yes. I would just like to support everybody here because I do appreciate that you guys are out there. Um, and I know I'm only one person out of everybody in Stony Brook, but yeah, my permission to hang up on those people. Say, <laughs> <laughs> call me back when you can speak politely. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I, I do appreciate it. I'm sorry that you guys have to put up with some of those posts. We appreciate the feedback from your folks. Uh, Elizabeth? Okay, I'll touch uh, more on the activities. Thank you to everyone that participated in the golf cart parade. Thank you to Raphael for uh, being our leader. Nancy <laughs> and um, Stephanie for helping out. Um, I think it was a success. We had, I believe, 24 golf carts oh, wow. and one yes. antique oh, car. There were people on the sidelines. I was extremely pleased. So hopefully it'll be something that continues. Um, we're thinking of doing another golf cart parade. It's not set in stone for Halloween. Being that this Halloween it might be a little bit different, I don't think we'll be able to host the normal. So we might do that. That's still in the works. And last year, um, the activities committee talked about doing decorating the residents decorating a Christmas tree. And this year, I'll have a poster ready next, um, probably the end of the week, uh, for the residents to make homemade ornaments this year. And we'll probably. Um, I was thinking on November 15th, uh, it's a Sunday to de for the residents to come in. We'll set up a time to decorate it, and then hopefully we'll do like a little contest with some prizes. So I'd like, I don't know, I think it would be nice, especially at this time, everybody has some time on their hands, and just a little nostalgia would be good. Excuse me, would be good. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was it. And then on the buildings and grounds, Jim was nice enough to come with me. We drove around the community. Uh, made some notations. We handed it over to Tammy. Uh, basically, it was cosmetic, more or less. Um, she has pretty much the um, help me out. What's the word I'm looking for? Focus setting. <laughs> nope. nope. That's my quarter word. Okay. Okay. Basically, the more important stuff she has. The roof um, that's being hopefully started shortly. Uh, it's supposed to be the end of August. Uh, was the last update. Okay. And then, as you know, our playground is still closed. We were being told it's because of COVID. So we still have to meet with them. And of course, everybody's using that as an excuse, so please be patient. Um, what else? And we're still working on the fountain. If you notice, it's been hot. We're having a little issue. But it's all moving forward. So. Okay. Richard, do you have anything on communications? No, I'm all good. Okay, we're looking forward to you sometime finding the flight to come back. <laughs> well, we keep changing my flight. <laughs> uh, I've already had my August flight to change twice. So, we'll see what happens in August. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, we have one committee that isn't a, a committee of members of the uh, board. Sharon is the uh, chairperson of our President's Council, which is the Condos and Villas, and us. Do you have anything other than the, the uh, draft you gave me today? I was going to say, I gave um, Bill a draft, and he's right. Um, there seems to be um, lack of communication 
um, and it starts with um, the condo, the condo community. Over in the condo community, there's 16 buildings, uh, but there's two different uh, management companies. One and three is run by Tropical, two and four is Icon, and um, the biggest issue we have is in the condos, um, of course, the short-term rentals. And like I said, there's a, a wording discrepancy between the CAMs, those CAMs, and our board members, and what uh, the, the master board is responsible for, um, based upon what the uh, condo uh, management companies are. So yeah, I just drafted a letter um, that will be handed out to um, all three CAMs, including Tim. Um, Bill Reynolds will oversee this meeting and it will be the four different presidents because in every four buildings, Pinecrest 1, 2, 3, and 4, there's different board members. And so you will get all those presidents together along with uh, Bill, Tammy, and then the other two camps from Tropical and Icon and hopefully be able to get on the same page and um, uh, stop, stop the lack of communication and the lack of pointing fingers. No, that's you, that's you, that's so. Hopefully this will work. Okay. Now you ladies are from Port Rush, correct? Chris. Uh, you would give the Sharon some time. You, you know Sharon? Sharon, these are ladies. Because uh, we want to get the presidents from your association involved as well. And uh, we'll, Pete, we'll get with Peter and we'll get uh, Night Run in there and then we'll have it. Because uh, things happen out there. You bring stuff to us. Other than that, we don't hear too much from you because you sort of run yourself. We want everybody to be on the same page with us, so it'll work out. Okay, Tammy, you're up with your report. Okay, um, ARCs, we had uh, 28, so people are doing a lot of improving with roofs and shutters and driveways. We appreciate that. Rentals, we had nine this month, and sales, we had six. Smart collections. The date for the sheets that are dated July 13th. Do you guys have any questions on any of Sorry, is these? We're doing really good with collections being very good. Okay, these aren't the ones that uh, are basically dead? No, off. I'll bring those to the table next month. Okay. By dead, he means the people have moved out. There's no more collections. Uh, what we got is all that we're going to get. So we need to write the rest off as a bad guy. That come out to about, uh, what did I say last time? About 12,000? No, I'm take that back. Not on these three. No, no. All right. Three. So it's a little bit higher, I think, another one. Because one of them is four. four digit figure. Four. Okay, next one you got there is the fines. Um, the parking fines we have, uh, we're getting caught up here after the event that started at the beginning of the year. Uh, I've got five parking fines for June and July. I move that we impose a $25 fine for all the ones listed for June and July. I'll second. Okay, for discussion, we've got, on the July one, we've got the same guy five times, and we've got him once or twice on the other one. Well, we're going to hit him five different times for July. That, that should be enough of a fine, I guess. Are you talking about... Is that be, okay, the first one's on 7-6 on July. 7-6? That is the individual that has a utility van back here and refuses not to park it here. No, he planned. And he came in and we talked and it's that the port rush now. The white one? Okay, yeah, he moved it around. Is that the one down there? Yeah. yeah. That's him. Okay. I is that? I don't think that's the same one. It wasn't Duffy's, and I thought, okay. I don't, I don't think Tammy. Really over the weekend, I saw it down there when I was it's looking at the cameras. Like no, but I don't think it's the same one. Did, Lloyd, didn't you say it's an out-of-state license plate? No. Oh, okay. The big yeah. one is, and he parks at Duffy's. Oh, okay. This one here has a roof rack on it that we oh, yes. talked to. Yes. Yes. So they are two have a roof rack. The one at Port West, I don't have a roof rack. Yeah. And it has and a parking permit on the dashboard. 
they got to figure out who's to who that belongs to because they can't be parked. Is it a is it a utility van though, no, yes. or is it a? Well, it doesn't have side windows. Okay. Yeah. Because we went through that with the guy with the roof rack. Right. We looked well, that, it up, that's who and it was distinguished the as a utility van. With the ladder on the roof. Right. He parks at Duffy's now. That's their problem. Well, he did. That's him now, back in his driveway. Oh, he's back. Now, is there a limit? Oh, it is back in the driveway. Back in the driveway. Oh, okay. Is there a limit how many parking fines they can get? One a day. But like total, there there isn't a limit before we move up to like a next step. I don't know there well, is a next step. That depends if he pays them and not keep an eye on some of them that are very habitual. When he hits $500, yes. he has to pay them, then we turn his uh, the bond and the barcode off. Okay. And then when it gets to another level, it goes to collections. Okay. So that there is stages. Right. I just didn't know if you're only allowed, let's say, 20 parking fines in a year. Oh, no. no. Okay. Okay. We don't have anything in our government. Any more discussion on the parking fine? Seeing none, all in favor of... Uh, Opposing the fines is listed on the sheet. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Carried. Okay. Next item is the issue with the vandalism on July 15, 2020 here at the community center. I've given you an outline. Please use A, B, or C only. No names, no addresses, please. Um, the problem we got is we can't prove that these individuals did the damage. They say these other kids did the damage. But still and all, I think they were involved. So I'm going to make a motion that on A, we um, hit them with a $100 fine on A. You want these all at once? Or? Yeah, let's keep working on that big yeah. Okay, C. I say it's $200 because um, the individual that lives here brought a guest in and she was the one that was opening the gate letting people in. So it's 100 for the owner and 100 for the guest which goes towards the owner. And on B, I'll make a motion that it's $500 they wouldn't even respond and come in here and talk to us. Plus, she also used the FOB 15 times between two and a half hours. Yeah. Something was going on when you come into the washroom 15 times in an hour and a half. <laughs> now, total cost to uh, correct the damage is about $150. And plus, we didn't factor in Alex's time to clean up the gas, not a blast. And the convenience when we had the pool closed for a day or two. So are we going to take that cost and split it among them? So uh, the, the, way, the way it's set up by Elizabeth is A, 100, B, 500, C, 200. But those are the no, what about the, what yeah, what about oh, the, the cost of the, the cost of this? Don't they have to read the signs? The, the Again, I, I don't know if we want to do that because we're collecting this. We don't know. Well, well we do. No, I got something for the. I got another thing for the. Did someone identify that guest in the seat? For those. Yes, I've got pictures. For yeah. those three non-residents, I got something else for them. Okay. Well, you just got the one motion we have right now is for A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Uh, we're working A, B, and C. Any discussion? I'll second it. We, we, we had a question on we did. the expenses. Okay. Well, we're just we're working on. You're just working on. Fines. The fine right now. We'll get the gotcha. expenses in a minute. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second. You got that, Marilyn? Who's the second? Jim. Who seconded the motion? That I did. Jim. You said somebody Jim. else did. Okay. When you're ready, Marilyn, let me know. Okay. Okay. We have a motion to uh, fine A, 100, B, 500, C, 200. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. I have another question. Wait, wait a second. I'll, I'll vote right now. Oh, okay. This was. Yeah, do you want to vote yes or no to fight? Well, she's had another question. Well, this was kind of, we're just finding them. Can we, I, I don't know, can we suspend their files? Well, we, we can, do, we can do that after this. We're just doing the fine right now. Okay. Okay. So, I'll do it again. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 
Okay, carried. Now I'll ask your question. If we can about turn the file. The only one we could actually do it to would be uh, B, but we have to give them a chance to pay that. But 500 is the threshold where you turn off that. No, I was just saying as part of the as deterrent. A, uh, as a, it's like a deterrent if we were able to, let's say, do a turn it off a for a while. Suspension for all three. Because eight, eight times into the bathroom is a lot too for the first one. We got 15 for the second one, and it's a short, and it was only the women's restaurant, which. Well, the first well, one. Well, I ran reports on everything, but the, the, I just did the women's and concentrated on that because that's where the damage was. Do you want to make a I motion think on something? Start stuff? with the mm -hmm. fines. I mean, like B is pretty steep. Hopefully, this would wake them up, and then if we continue to have a problem, then yeah, suspend their calls. Did you want to put that motion, or was it just a question? Maybe you can hold their thoughts till they pay the fines. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Can we do that? Would that be okay? All right, I will move. I will make a motion that their fobs be turned off until the fines are paid. I'll do that. I'll second that. Okay. Any more questions on that? Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. See no questions. All in favor of the motion to turn the fobs off until fines are paid, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Carried. Okay, that took care of that. Uh, uh, damage is next. Well, I don't see how we can uh, do anything with these three non-residents that caught, that had the fight in there that actually done the damage. The only thing is, I think we can, uh, what was the term you used? So, so no, no, no. You have the sheriff's office give them a trespass warning. A trespass warning from the sheriff's department for all three of them. 